Greetings and salutations to YouTube, it's Hayden here. How's everyone doing today? Hope you guys are all doing fantastic. Now, I'm here today with a haul video for you guys. Now, the haul video, this haul video is going to be the culmination of three separate Goodwill hunting videos. I just wanted to throw them all together because I didn't really purchase too much stuff in each of the stores, which is good because I'm trying to cut back a little bit on items that I'm purchasing, though I still kind of bought a lot of stuff. But these are all, um, from, they're fine, they're, this is all from th um, shopping three different stores in one day, and I'll have the links for the three different videos right here, just so the little eye of the window will pop out, and I'll have them all in the description box below, and I'll also have playlists for my other Goodwill hunting videos and haul videos and handbag rehabs. So without further ado, let's get into the haul. I got a lot of really good stuff. Um, I'm just going to kind of go randomly in no specific order, I'm just going to pick them up as they go along. First item... Um, being actually I'm gonna go in order of the stores that I went to so I think I'll do that I think that'll be easiest so the first um, thing I have right here is just like this cute little little tykes fish it's really cute a little purple fish um, the babies like to take like baths and then when they're in the bath they can play with a little fishy while they're in there so I think this is just really cute it's only $3.99 and it's brand new from Target so that's really fun the next items are, these actually go together, they're these really cute leaf plate, like this is a really cute leaf plate and then a little bowl. This is really great for like if I wanted to do maybe like egg rolls and then like a sauce, you can like go right there. Or if you wanted to eat like a little something or something decorative, you can put a candle in this or a candle in here. Possibilities are endless and these are from Pottery Barn, which is awesome I actually have a couple of these plates already that I've thrifted previously. I believe they are green So I have like um, two green plates and maybe a yellow or maybe it was red I don't remember I have them um, in storage. I have them put away already and these are gonna be perfect for next fall They're just really pretty a golden color Pottery Barn really cute and in perfect condition. So this was $1.99. This one was $3.99 Really great deal. Oh, okay. Why was I the most excited for this, though? I have been looking for some sort of unicorn plate for the longest time. You guys know my obsession with unicorns. And I finally found these tiny, tiny, tiny little... These are like little sauce plates or something. And they have little unicorns all the way around. Uh, they were $1.99, but since they're a blue tag, that day blue tags were 50% off, so got three of these for a dollar. Really great deal, really cute, super excited. They're like 33 cents each, can't really go wrong. I don't know exactly what I'm gonna be doing with them. They can use them for sauce, you can use them for, I don't know, you could probably put candles on here, like a pillar candle, I don't know. Regardless, really, really cute. I had to get them, they were the first like dinnerware pieces that I've seen that had unicorns on them so I had to get them and they're so cute and I can't wait to start using them somehow I don't know I'll let you guys know how I use them um the next item was I actually found a handbag so I was super excited to find this now this is a Ted Baker bag it's fabric and then um, I don't know if this is patent or if it's plastic I know Ted Baker does use um, like plastic instead of patent, so not too sure. Uh, but this bag was $9.99 and it's in pretty good condition. Looks like there are a couple like stains inside, looks like a piece of caramel chocolate melted in there, so I'm gonna just have to clean that up. But other than that, everything else looks pretty good. There are some like little scuff marks on the plastic pen right there so I think we're gonna do a rehab to see how well we can clean up this bag so if you guys want to see that definitely let me know down in the comments below I do have a couple uh, videos already about how to clean patent and plastic and actually one of those videos is on a Ted Baker laptop bag or laptop sleeve so that one was actually a really good one I got like almost every stain out of there and I cannot wait to see how this one turns out so super duper excited $9.99 and I'm probably gonna sell this so if anyone's interested in this let me know and I'll let you know whether or not it's still available or not but yeah I think it's just a really fun floral print and it's really light really nice everything else is in perfect condition the strap is good the interior is good no tears no rips no stains other than the caramel which I think I'll be able to get out and then I think we can get out these scuff marks that are on the front and then this bag will be perfect and good to go to a new owner. So, 
that's that. And then, oh, okay, I was so excited for this because I was looking, I wanted to find some sort of, what's the word? Uh, like holiday decor at the Goodwill. I didn't want to find, or not, no, I didn't want to find, of course I wanted to find it. I didn't want to purchase any, like, too many things because we already have a lot of stuff. One of our large, uh, what's it called? Storage units is actually like half filled with just Christmas stuff. So we have so, 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 so much stuff. I still have to go make a trip over there and pick up the decorations that I want to use this year. So, of course, I'm going to bring you guys with me. So if you guys want to see that, let me know. I don't know how, how successful I'll be in doing a decorating video just because it's really hectic downstairs all the time. And I can never film there without craziness ensuing so I think I'll just film like I'll try to film during or like do some sort of um, time-lapse video maybe or just like of course I'll do like a before and after so I'll do that but check this out it is a gorgeous mercury Christmas tree really really cute it's from Pottery Barn so you guys know I love Pottery Barn $12.99 for this which is a little expensive, but these trees are very, very expensive when you buy them at the store. This was probably like, what, $60, $75? And they do go on sale usually at the end of the year, but still not for the price of $12.99. And this is in perfect, pristine condition. It's really, really beautiful, and I love it. I already have a bunch of uh, mercury glass items, so this is going to be great to add to the collection. And I don't have any like Christmas specific pieces except for this so it'll be nice to tie everything in so I'm super duper excited for that Which brings me to the next store now the um, another store that I went to believe it or not had I was so happy because okay when I was in this store where I found this which was the Hunt Huntington Beach Goodwill They had a pillar holder but, it looks like water got into it and part of the mercury inside of it came off. Sorry about that. So, uh, I found another um, mercury piece at the store where I had, where I found this. And the mercury part inside that's like, that makes it like gold and silver and everything and really pretty had been damaged, like, uh, it's been like rubbed off. So it was kind of like, it had like a weird cloudy appearance and half of it. So I didn't purchase it, it was, it was also actually from Pottery Barn as well, which is probably from the same person that donated this item. So I went to another store, and lucky enough for me, I found, I think it's almost the same exact piece, but not damaged. And from Pottery Barn, still has a sticker, $29, and this piece was only $4.99. So I was very, very, very excited to find this piece. And to top it off, I found a another piece. So now I have three pieces. Even if I only were, if I even if I didn't have any mercury glass pieces, now that I have these, I can just combine all three together and make a really cute vignette. And it would be gorgeous and fun and festive and sparkly, shiny, shimmery, beautifulness. I'm just making up words at this point. But I am super duper euphoric and giddy with delight. This piece was only 99 cents, which was a steal. Uh, I'm pretty sure this isn't from Pottery Barn, but it's just really cute and still goes anyway. It doesn't need to be from Pottery Barn. It'll still match, still beautiful. Again, this piece was $4.99, originally $29, and this tree was probably like $50, $60, $75, $12.99. $12 so really, really great, and just for a couple bucks, we have this gorgeous little piece. I think under $20, you got three pieces to make a beautiful vignette. Then, oh, another Pottery Barn piece that I was super excited to find at the at that same store was this gorgeous Pottery Barn pillar holder. Now this also was on a $24 and it was only $2.99. It does have like a slight bit of scuffing but it makes it look more vintage. I think it's cool. I think it's fine. And you can't really go wrong with the pillar holder. And I do have a some pieces from this collection. Uh, I have two Hurricanes 
So this would totally go if I wanted to mix and match them all together. So I'm super duper excited. Love mixing and matching. $2.99, can't go wrong. Turnwood, that's what the style is called, the Turnwood Pillar Candle Holder from Pottery Barn. Gorgeous, beautiful, love it. Then, uh, to add to the Magical Plate collection, I had to get this plate. Look at how fun and vibrant and colorful it is. The orange, the yellow, the blue, the green, I had to get it. $1.99, Furio Home, made in Portugal. Gorgeous, there were actually five plates, I believe, but I only wanted to get one because I wanted all the plates to kind of be different in my collection, so I just wanted to add one piece to it. And because I love like just getting a, like a couple plates, one plate, two plates, every time I go to the thrift and adding it to the collection, and I just think it looks whimsical and magical and fun when they're all different. And if I do, though, my one rule is if I do see the same exact plate at another store that's not from the same store that I purchased the item originally, I will probably purchase it. Like the those red that um, the red plate with like. Um, the little design on it that I found at two different stores. That was really exciting, that was really fun, so that's like a fun story. So I had to get that, but I had to get this. Really pretty, really fun, and this was like my magic plate of the day other than my unicorns. These unicorns are beyond magical. I love them, they're gonna live in my heart forever. And I, yeah, I'm so excited that I found these. I'm still like dying over it. Okay, so then, I found this was actually from the first store that I went to the one in Huntington Beach this is a gorgeous 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 Salvatore Ferragamo top now is it an extra large but I don't know it looks kind of like smaller but I guess it's for a woman I wish I could wear it. I wish it was longer so I could wear it. Like, if it was longer, I'd probably try and wear this. But it's, like, gonna be, like, a belly shirt and, like, show my belly button or something. But Salvatore Ferragamo Extra Large. And this is in, uh, I believe it's 100% silk is what this is. And it feels so luxurious. The fabric is beyond, beyond, beyond amazing. And can't find a little thing for it, but I'm pretty sure... That this is silk. Oh, here it is. Let's take a look. I know it's silk because I read it. Yeah. Silk. Beautiful. Gorgeous. So, I'll probably be selling this piece. Um, my mom felt that it was too short too, so she didn't want to wear it. But if someone's into this, you can probably wear it like as an oversized type of like belly shirt or something. You know, it could be really cute if styled properly, and I think it's just a gorgeous piece anyway, so, yeah. Gorgeous, gorgeous Salvatore Ferragamo. Really, really excited. Beautiful. Love it. On to the next piece. Now, this was a uh, another really great find. This is just, like, a loaf pan, baking pan. Beautiful yellow, light, like, yellow color. Stunning. This is a Emile Henry piece right there and I know this piece because mom actually owns this exact piece I believe it's in red and they sell these at Williams Sonoma and I think they run about like 70 to 80 dollars so these are pretty pricey pieces and I was super excited to find this at the low low price of three dollars and 99 cents look at the sticker even matches the pan beautiful gorgeous stunning cannot wait to I don't know if I can eat bread still <laughs> I can't. I can't do it. I don't know if I can eat the bread that mom's gonna make in this, but I can look at it and it's gonna be beautiful. And I'll show you guys pictures and I'll try to give you guys the recipe. And I know I still haven't given you guys the full recipe for that cake that uh, mom and I made for Thanksgiving when mom made it and I kind of just watched. Stay tuned because I'm gonna make a full length video and I want to just give you guys the recipe for it that I have been asking and I will. And... Hopefully by the time you guys see this video, I have, but if I forgot about you and haven't given it to you and you see this video, message me and I'll give you the recipe. So sorry about that. I'm working on a website so then it'll all be there. So if you like want recipes and everything, they'll just be all set up and perfect and ready for you guys. But, 
yay baking stuff like this is like almost an equivalent to Le Creuset for me these baking pieces are just so awesome all right on to the next piece so this I had to get for little Zach just a cute BB-8 hooded towel for when you take a bath or when you're at the beach Zach loves BB-8 it's his favorite so this was perfect. It was only $2.99 at the Goodwill. And it's brand new still. It's from Target. Still has a little thing attached. Super clean. Perfect for Zach. So he already saw it. He's already obsessed. He already wanted to use it. So I was like, Zach, let me just do the video and I'll wash it for you. Then you can use it that night. So gotta wash it. He has to use it tonight because he's been asking about it. I think he just wants to use it as a blanket because I think he thinks it's a blanket or a cape or something. But the next piece I have here is if you guys are familiar with Pampered Chef, this is their cupcake pan. We actually already have this piece. We only have one and it's my mom's most favorite cupcake pan to use. And now we have two. So this is perfect. It's in really, really good condition. Um, and beautiful. Look at that. $4.99. These pieces are so expensive when you buy them brand new from Pampered Chef and I've been lucky enough to find quite a few pieces already from Pampered Chef so I'm very very excited. So if you guys ever see Pampered Chef at the Goodwill definitely pick it up especially if it's in really good condition like this. Pampered Chef, Le Creuset, anything from Williams Sonoma. I love their Williams Sonoma the like the cake pans, the decorative cookie molds, anything from Williams Sonoma molds either um, the metal or aluminum, cast iron, or ceramic, you have to get them because they are amazing and will last you forever. And yeah, like this is such an amazing piece. And it cooks like, it cooks everything like really evenly. Like I know this doesn't really make a huge difference if you use the stone or if you use the, uh, what is it, aluminum or whatever, those like the regular stainless steely looking ones are made up but honestly I think it, I feel like it really does make a huge difference and it cooks everything evenly and really nicely I don't know maybe I'm just weird but I mean if you're gonna pay $4.99 for one of those ones from Walmart why not pay $4.99 for this amazing stone piece especially if you're lucky enough to find it so that's why I love the Goodwill. Oh my gosh, you can get such amazing, uh, amazing, amazing prices. I can't even talk. That's how excited I am. All right. So I have a couple more pieces left to show you guys that I got. Um, here, this is just a little Coach sunglass case. Um, I'm just going to give this to like my aunt or something for her sunglasses. Because I believe she lost her sunglass case or something or misplaced it. And this is perfect. So this was only $1.99. And now she'll have her coach sunglass case, eyeglass case, whatever, again. So, perfect. Awesome. People are always losing their sunglass cases anyway, so it's perfect for them. Um, now this really, really cute Dooney and Burke zippered pouch. Now this is perfect for my pens. I really, really like it. Even though right now I am using, like, for... This, this is for, like, for if I want to throw something in my bag and just, like, travel with it. Um, I either use one of my pouches, but right now I have this really cute banana. Someone gave this to me when I purchased something from Poshmark a while ago. And it was like kind of like a gift with purchase, and I didn't even know, and it was just in there, and it was so cute. I was so happy, I was so excited. I believe it was when I purchased an Alexander Wang wallet before. Um, so, 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 so cute. I just think it's adorable. But now I have the option to use this, which will hold more pens. This actually doesn't hold that many. I have, like, five in here, and I think, like, that's almost the maximum that it can hold. Even though it's, it's just, I just think it's, like, a fun novelty piece, and it's just really cute to, like, pull a banana out of your bag and then have pens inside, so. But then this is also really great, and you guys know I love pouches. I have a million of them, and I always find a reason and a use to use one, so... The more the merrier. And I kind of wanted to maybe paint something on it. Uh, this piece, oh, the sticker is gone and fell out. But I believe it was only like $2.99. And it's just really nice brown leather. And it's really clean, but I, I don't know, maybe like a Pikachu. I love Pikachu. Pikachu or Totoro 
or some sort of fun thing. I still have my Chanel wallet that I haven't finished painting. I just want to be able to like sit down and do it all at once, but I haven't had really any time to sit down and do it. I'm probably gonna not be able to work on it until after the holidays, so I know a lot of you guys have actually been messaging me about it and asking me how it's going, and honestly, it's been just like at a dead stop. I haven't even looked at it since I showed you guys in one of my vlogs a couple months ago. So, yeah. But, this is, I just want to paint like a little something. So, I think I'll do a tutorial on how I do it. Even though it's pretty much the same as painting one of your bags for a rehab. But I guess it's a little different because it's like painting a design. So, I'll do that. What do you guys think though? We give you... I, I love like anime, I love uh, like cartoon things, so leave me down in the comments what you guys would paint on here. Maybe I'll take one of your um, one of your recommendations and paint it on here. I don't even know, so let me know. Might be fun to do a little art project. Don't know how much time I'm going to have this Christmas. I'm already like going crazy, so really, really excited for this, though. It's really cute. In, in the meantime, I can just start using it, so it's perfect. Super fun. <sighs> And yeah, so my next piece is this. Now this is just a Juicy Couture, uh, I believe this is like a bracelet or a jewelry case. And I think like a little um, Juicy bracelet was actually in here before. And that's just like, this is what they come with, I'm pretty sure. And this was just cute, it was like $1.99. And it's just fun for jewelry, if you're traveling or whatever. You throw it in here, uh, put your headphones in here. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, wow, okay, oh, sorry about that. <laughs> Don't you guys love sneezing though? I think it's like, some people think it's so weird, but I love sneezing, I think it feels so good. But, adorable and juicy. It even spells juicy right here with this little thing. So, adorable. You can even just take these off and use them kind of like a keychain. Oh, and it says couture right here on this little round globe thing. But, yeah, so cute. And then I found this little Brighton crossbody bag, which is really funny because Bomb actually gave me one of these. And I was like, oh, did you want to, like, just sell it or something? And I was like, yeah. And then, funny enough, I found one at the thrift store. And this was only, like, $1.99. Where's the one I have? Oh, here it is. See, look. Literally the same exact piece. This one is still wrapped up, brand new. And now I have two. Woo! So if anyone's interested in one of these really cute Brighton crossbody bags, let me know. I already have um, the other one up in the store. But this is just really cute. You can use it as crossbody, or you can just use it as a clutch, you can use it as a wallet. It's really great. It has a zipper compartment inside, has nice bright blue and white stripes in the interior, and then has an exterior pocket, which is perfect for your cell phone. This will fit your iPhone 7 Plus, which is awesome because not a lot of things fit it, so... Perfect, fits nicely inside there. And, oh, the last item that I have to show you guys is really exciting. Mom's already claimed it. You know how she loves bags, so. And she loves Kipling, and you, she, she got that little black Kipling bag at the Goodwill like a month and a half ago, and she loves it. She's already used it so, 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 so much. And when I showed her this, she almost died. And she was like, oh my gosh, it's a little bit bigger than my other bag. So, really, really cute. Uh, Kipling. It's a little, it is a little bigger crossbody bag. And it's, it looks almost like a camera bag. And it's so great. I love the zipper, like, runs. So huge. And it's just like, bam! You can see everything in there, which is, I think, why mom really likes it. My camera does this weird thing where it just turns off after like 16 something minutes, like random, like 16 minutes, 37 seconds. It's so strange. Anyway. Yeah, so this piece was like $5.99. So super duper excited for this. So, 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 so cute. Really, really great. Uh, if mom ends up letting go of her other piece, I'll let you guys know because I know a lot of you guys also love Kipling as much as mom does. And Kipling, I think, is just so great. Their fabrics are so lightweight, durable, and easy to clean, and their bags last forever. Mom has some Kipling bags from back in like the 80s or something, and they still look brand new and current and fun and awesome. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul video. I know it's a little bit, oh, wait. Oh, I have one more piece. 
how can I forget? Because it's lovely over here. So, I have one more item to show you guys. And it is... Da -da -da -da, this gorgeous Halston. This is a Halston, like, um, kind of like a duffel. It's very similar in style to the Speedy. Or, like, a Speedy Bandoulier. Maybe, like, a... Or, like, the key ball. Like, the smallest key ball size, which is, like... Is it a 40, 45, something like that? It's really good size. It's pretty big. It's leather in the interior. And it's fabric on the outside. And then it has, like, leather trim, which is beautiful. And I think it's in really, really good condition. It looks like there are a couple, like... I don't know what it is. Stains on the back. Oh, actually, they're coming right off. At first, I thought they were paint stains, but they're coming right off. So never mind, this bag is in perfect condition. I guess it's just like a little, it just got a little dirty on there. But it is stunning. I love this bag. And it has like, Halston has their, like their logo or their uh, monogram kind of has H's all over it, which is perfect for Hadrian. So I kind of love this bag. I don't know, maybe I should start using it. And I, it sits really high up, but I can still crossbody it. You know, I'll try to crossbody anything. And I actually really like the size of this. I can throw everything inside of it. It is really structured, though, because the leather is very stiff. But I still think it's gorgeous, and I still like it. And it has H's all over it, so I had I had to get it. And this piece was only um, $8.99, so beautiful and i think this is a good item to end this video with so thank you guys so so much for watching hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know in the comments below what your favorite item was that i picked up today and let me know if you guys want anything because i just might sell it to you because i honestly have so much stuff but stay tuned because oh okay the bag's on the floor stay tuned for uh how i end up using these mercury pieces i am over the moon. I'm going to be doing it sometime this week. You might even see that video before you even see this. So, but if you haven't seen the video for when I decorate this and would like to, check my playlists. I'll have a Christmas decorating playlist or something or a vlog. Just check it out. I'll have them somewhere. I'll try to link it into this video if I remember, but if you don't see it anywhere, just message me and I'll let you know. And I will point you in the right direction. So again, thank you guys so much. I love you guys so so, so much. You guys mean the world to me. I love reading all your comments and I love talking to you guys. And if you ever have any questions about anything, definitely like message me on here, leave a comment, or you can DM me on Instagram. But don't forget to follow me. It's Hadrian on Instagram and Thrift Concierge. I will, I do post all of my current offerings on there when I put them up. So if you guys are interested in anything, definitely check it out. I had a pretty big sale for the holidays and I'm planning on having another one so definitely subscribe so you guys can stay tuned to that and look for me at shop it's Hadrian on Facebook as well uh, add me on there I have a little group going and have my regular page it's Hadrian on Facebook as well and I'm working on my website it's gonna be it's Hadrian.com but it has not gotten up yet so I will let you, definitely let you guys know when that happens and that's where I'll be posting all of uh, mom's recipes and cooking tips and all that stuff and all the stuff that she's too shy to say on YouTube or in video I'll have up there for you and make it more easily accessible so thank you guys again so much I love you guys I'll see you guys tomorrow bye